So Kikio will have her work cut out for her tonight. But as you said, she's coming off a lot of loss at Rise 9 to Madison Rain. So she's a little angry herself. So I'm not sure what to expect out of this match. I mean, if you're going to lose, you might as well lose to someone as decorated as Madison Rain. She's done a lot. She's been around for a long time. It's, she's definitely not losing to a schmuck. So, I mean, she has that going for her. No, but who's ever happy with any loss, no matter who it's to, you know? Especially you right. Kikyo. You right. She was on a hot streak. She thought she should have won the Phoenix Rise Championship a while ago. She thought it was stolen from her by Delilah Doom. And she was basically on her way to contention again for that championship. And now she feels like it's slipping. A little face off here. Oh. I would expect nothing less from Soraya Knight. Well, um, well, that started off in an awkward manner, but... <laughs> and Soraya just went right for it. She is wasting no time. You know, Soraya Knight is such a fan favorite with everyone, and I sometimes I'm not sure why, because she uses all of these really cheap tactics, but, uh, you know, the fans love her. I mean, honestly, what's not to love? She just does what she wants. She kicks what she wants. I mean, that's a lot of hair, and that's a lot of booty to be throwing around. And she's yes. doing it quite easily. Yes, she is. You know, I always feel just a tiny bit sorry for the referees that have to be in charge of Soraya's matches, too, because, I mean, she does not listen. You have to put down your authority, or nothing is going to get done. No. And Soraya's going back outside the ring again, even after the ref told her not to. She doesn't care. Soraya don't care. Well, you know, she's been doing this for 25 years, probably longer than that. How many years has she been in here? You know, so I really don't think she, if she knows it all. She's done it all. So she just doesn't oh, care. No, what is she going oh my for? Goodness. What is she going? No! Oh! DDT to the floor. Holy moly. She just DDT'd her. Hangman DDT off the apron onto the floor. Look at that face. She's sadistic. I can't believe Kikyo is still awake after all that. To be honest, I don't know if she is, and I'm not sure that she was just standing on her own. Soraya has the magnet off of the oh ring gosh. post. Is she whipping Kikyo with it? I think she's choking her with it. I can't quite tell from this angle. Yep, she's choking with it. Same as yep. she did with Sue Young at Rise 9. There's a theme going on here. Yes. Oh my gosh, I have to, I mean, I have to admit I'm a fan of using my surroundings in my matches, so I get that. I would totally do the same thing. It's not legal, but I mean, you got five seconds. I think she's taking longer uh, than five seconds. It doesn't seem like, it seems like Kikio might be totally out. Is that, honestly, I, I thought that, he, that the ref was about to call the match there. And the fans love it, they're sick too. You know, wrestling fans, you never know. <laughs> and Kiki oh, was actually Kiki is standing. Actually up. Well, she's breathing, and that's a good sign. Oh, no. Watch your hair. Watch your hair and your crotch around Saturday night. Oh. Oh, there. reversal. There you go, Kikyo. I was just about to say, Kikyo needs to really use her size advantage here and not let Soraya just throw her around. I swear it looks like Soraya's just smiling now. She is. She likes it. all that abuse and just smiles. She likes it. A lot of girls, I see them in the ring with Soraya Knight. I've been in the ring with Soraya Knight. You have to hold your own. You cannot show any sign of weakness. You cannot stare like a deer in the headlights or she will take advantage. She will destroy you. Another DDT. This has got to be it. I don't know about their ring positioning. Uh, you are so right, Sienna. Kikyo using it to her advantage. Yes, the rope was right there. Up. She was just biting her boot. That's kind of disgusting. I'm not sure who would have the worst end of that. We don't know what Kikyo stepped in on her way to the ring. Huge clothesline from Soraya. The problem with wrestling Soraya Knight is that 
when she does smile, no matter what kind of punishment you're dishing out, it's really hard. She gets in your head. And you're like, I'm, I keep hitting her and hitting her, and she's just smiling at me. It's like a... It's oh, but like, look at Kikio. She yeah. looks like she's playing some mind games of her own. Oh, jeez. She needs to get some oh. momentum going, or this is not going to end pretty. And you can just hear the fans. They, they almost sound more concerned than anything else right now. Yeah, Kikio needs to get some momentum going, but I don't know that she has much left. Oh. No, she has taken a beating really in every angle of her body at this point. Oh, my goodness. Drop kick in the nether reasons. And again, like you said, the crowd is just cheering. You know, one day that's going to backfire on Soraya and her foot's going to get stuck. Kikyo wants more. And Soraya will give it. Oh my gosh, she just gave it right back. Oh, I, I know. I don't, that's a tactic that might not work for you, though. You got to keep giving it back, Kikyo. You know, I think maybe it's time for somebody to give Soraya a little bit of her own punishment and maybe kick her. A little taste of her own medicine? Yes. I mean, that might be what she has to resort to. That has to be what Kikyo needs to do next because she's done everything else. And you know what many people forget is that all the experience that Soraya has, she is a very good technical wrestler. I mean, we see her brawling and hair pulling and crotch kicking all the time, but she can tie you up in knots too. I think she just winked at me. Probably. And now she's just toying with the ref, counting, and then she's going to switch hands. It's, I, I get the strategy. I almost feel bad for Kikyo, but then again, I don't really, um, empathy really isn't my strong suit. <laughs> but Soraya has her back turned. This is where uh -oh. Kikyo can take advantage. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was really close. For a minute there, I thought Andy Long was going to get the, uh, the punishment there. Oh, another one. Soraya's just getting frustrated. More at the ref than anyone else. Another quick roll of this could be it. Oh, that was really close. Kikyo needs to keep this momentum going. As long as the ref has Soraya distracted, she has a chance, but now it's back to the punishment. And you're right, as much as Soraya hair pulls and brawls, she just has an entire arsenal of submissions and devastating maneuvers. And this might, I don't know if this is turning into a curb oh, stomp. curb stomp, wow. Oh, this is one of Soraya's favorite moves, the rocking horse. She's actually, she's actually had a lot of wrestlers submit to this move. Can Kikio hold out, do you think? I don't know, she's taking a lot of punishment at this point. I mean, I, I have a straight shot at her face right now, and it does not look pretty. No offense, Kikio, but I mean, you're in a lot of pain. It looks like she's fading. But, I mean, the crowd's actually getting behind her, and you yeah. don't always see that in Soraya's opponents, because sometimes she just completely destroys them, and, and Soraya ends up being sort of a crowd favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And that's it. That's what it took. Choking her with her boots. That was dirty. And it was innovative. And I liked it. Sorry, Kikyo. Sorry about your luck. Wow. I wonder what this is going to do to Kikyo's mental state and her, you know, with the, coming off the winning streak and now going through two losses in a row.